Each spring, at dawn, the sagebrush country of western North America fills with a strange burbling sound and an even stranger sight. Dozens of male greater sage grouse puff their chests and fan their starburst tails like avant-garde turkeys. They inflate bulbous yellow air sacs and thrust with their heads to produce weird pops and whistles. The rest of the year these birds melt away into the great sagebrush plains that are their only homes. Habitat fragmentation and development have caused severe declines for this spectacular bird. Although many male greater sage grouse may display at the lek, only one or two males get picked by a majority of the females for mating. Scientists have recorded a single male copulating 37 times with 37 different females, and coincidentally the whole thing took 37 minutes. This isn't all that uncommon for the top males of a lek. Most of the females mate with the same one or a few males, putting intense pressure on males to be the best. Over the harsh winter, sage grouse actually manage to gain weight and strength in preparation for the breeding season by feeding on the leaves of sagebrush. They get water from feeding on snow. In preparation for a strutting display, male greater sage grouse can gulp and hold a gallon of air in a pouch of their esophagus. By squeezing it out with force, they begin their display. The sound from the male's booming display is actually loudest off to each side, not straight ahead. That's why you may see displaying males standing to the side of a female instead of in front of her. Like many other grouse species, the greater sage grouse male plays no role in the raising of the young. Males display on dancing grounds known as leks. Females visit the leks to obtain mattings and then go off to raise their brood by themselves. Traditional lecking grounds may be used for years. Sage grouse have a specialized stomach that digests the tough sagebrush, their main food. Greater sage grouse can live up to nine years in the wild, but more often three six years. Females tend to be longer lived due to high predation of males on leks. The best way to see greater sage grouse is to visit a lek before dawn during the late winter and early spring in March to May. Leks can be very sensitive to disturbance, and some leks are closed to the public. Others are well prepared for public viewing and may feature viewing blinds or guided tours. Greater sage grouse are quite social animals, gathering in flock, consisted of hundreds of birds. The sage grouse are diurnal birds. They are efficient in flying short distances and are not fast runners, though preferring to move around primarily by walking. When facing danger, the sage grouse will usually escape, hiding or flying. The breeding season starts in spring, when the birds congregate in leks, looking for mates. They gather on the breeding ground to perform courtship rituals. During the display, they unfold the strut surrounding their tail, filling and emptying their esophageal sacs with a loud booming sound, heard at a distance of a mile. In Washington, the sage grouse populations live in the sagebrush country, generally remaining within the same area throughout the year, except for winter months, when they move to lowlands. What do you think about the greater sage grouse? You can comment to get your desired birds animals video. And remember that, your support is our working stamina. So, please support us by like, comment, share and subscribe the channel, if you don't yet.